Hey everybody, welcome to Whiskey Run. <laughs> what? what? I'm Chris. I'm Sky. And uh, today... Oh. That'd be too weird. <laughs> oh! oh! everybody, welcome to Whiskey Rep. This is the show where we taste, rate, and review different whiskeys. We have a rating system in place here. So 10 barrels is going to be the least expensive, best tasting whiskey. And one barrel is going to be the most expensive, worst tasting whiskey. So really, we just want to give everybody an idea of what is a good quality whiskey for a good price. Um, I'm Chris. I'm Sky. And today, what do we have going on, man? Uh, we're actually, through a viewer request, Jerry Fultz. You magnificent person, you. <laughs> we are doing two Speyside Scotches. Um, I would say both of these are, are actually like very popular Speyside oh, yeah. whiskeys. And for those of you who don't know what a Speyside is, it's basically scotch that's made in the Speyside region of Scotland, which is a, a sort of a sub portion of the Highlands. Um, we obviously don't have a map here, but I will throw up a map with the little indicators so you can see exactly where that is and, and what that means. We, we, you, out, out of the the different types of scotches out there, the space sides tend to be known for their more lighter, floral type mm -hmm. notes, more easygoing type of scotches, I would right. say. Right. These aren't going to be your Isla whiskeys. That's your peaty scotch, yes. your smoky, really earthy scotches. These are different. Yes. I would say if you're going to, if this is your beginning journey on scotches, the space side's a good place to start. McKellen right? is in this as well. McKellen, yes. And McKellen's so, like a classic introductory scotch. Exactly. Um, Okay. So, two of these big names are obviously the Glen Fittich, which you're supposed to pronounce it that way. You're supposed um, to have the hack in there? Yes. Okay. Oh. We have a Glen <laughs> Fittich 12. This is a reasonably priced 12-year scotch. A lot of people will, will buy this because for about 30 bucks you get a 12-year scotch, which is a good price. Interestingly enough, Glen Fittich in Gaelic means Valley of the Deer. They're aged in American and Spanish oak barrels. It's a slightly lower proof, 80% alcohol, about 40 proof, so lower on the alcohol scale, but yeah, it's a decent scotch. So I'll pour this. Why don't you tell us about the Glenlivet? Yeah, so Glenlivet. Uh, so this is the Glenlivet Founders Reserve, and with Glenlivet for a long time, they had a 12-year, and that was kind of their staple, and now they've moved into this Founders Reserve. And really with this one, that what they've done is they've aged it, or they age it in new American oak barrels. Uh, it's kind of the, the difference between the, the last one that they had. Um, obviously single malt scotch, pretty easy sipping. Excited to get into it and let's do it. Here's something sharp. Hey! Oi! 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 Back! <laughs> Back! Ooh, that was a good pop. These are both about the same price, right? What this is about thirty to thirty-five. Thirty-five. Yeah. yeah. So is this? So we're looking at two scotches, about the same price, both twelve years. This so. is the Glen Fittich. Glen Fittich. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So off the bat, Glen Fittich to me has kind of a more peaty smell to it. The Glen Levitt does have a fruity, citrusy, very light, florally kind of smell to it. Uh, orchard fruit, like maybe like yeah. a pear or an apple. Yep. Yeah, citrus. A little, little, little bit of like maybe caramel or vanilla, just a slight hint of caramel or vanilla. And like dusty. Ew. A dusty. It tastes, it smells dusty. Like if you walked into a... Like mothy? Maybe mothy. <laughs> Ew. Yeah. Ew. Maybe mothy. No. Like if yeah. you take a moth and it's just like... Oh, yeah. Mothy. Mm. I may spread my dust all over <laughs> you. My yeah. silvery dust. Well, the Glen Fittich is a... Uh, oh, yeah. What do you want to say for the smell on that one? It's similar. Light pea. Maybe more apple than the pear. It's not harsh. It doesn't, like, smack you in the face with anything. <laughs> oh, no. No. You know what is weird about this one? Remember, like, when you were a kid... But when you ate Elmer's glue, <laughs> do you remember that? It has wow. like you a did it. Taste. Don't tell me you didn't do it. I know you did it. <laughs> Every, got... Everybody had a paste episode or paste day or Elmer's glue day when it was like, okay. It's got an Elmer's glue. An innocence. Brings but you also, right back to childhood. Well, it also has other things. Like it does have the caramel, Crayons. vanilla. It, oh. Construction paper? No, it doesn't have that. Disappointed teacher smell? 
That is what Elmer's glue makes me think of, is disappointed <laughs> teachers. My third grade teacher, Miss Green. Sorry. I never could live up. I never could. I was a C student all the way. So <laughs> What are you getting? Really, dude, so, so really it's on the front that I get a lot. On the back, I get a, a little bit of apple. Yeah, apple. But it's really on the front is where I get some sweetness, kind of some earthy tones, some of that peat. Kind of taste, but it's, it it doesn't it doesn't last on the tongue. It's a very short sip. Do you want to move on, or do you want to like keep sipping on it? Because I well, wonder if it's gonna grow. Yeah, I want to see what the Glenn Levitt does. T W S S. Wait, what did we say? What did we say? I wonder if it's gonna grow. Oh, oh. <laughs> our wives strike again. So this one smells different after the Glenn Levitt. I get more caramel. I, that's in this what one. I get. It's like a sweeter caramel vanilla on the nose, and maybe a light, a light like sulfur, but like mild, very mild. Less peat, more vanilla. So this one is fruit. is more sweet. Yeah, it's much sweeter. Yeah. Yep. Than the Glenfiddich. This one does make me think of the ocean, though. Kind of, kind of, it's like a like a toffee, like a uh, what's the taffy? Like everybody goes, like oh, you gotta get like the saltwater taffy. Thank you. Yes, like a saltwater yeah, taffy. Not laffy taffy. taffy. <laughs> Not laffy taffy. Makes us think of the ocean. With the jokes. Yeah. Makes me want to sing a shanty. Now whiskey is the life of man. Whiskey, Johnny. That's cheers. That's what Glenn Fiddick does. Is it makes you sing shanties? That's good, man. Twelve years of shanties. Um, like SpongeBob. No! Not like Spongebob. God. Spongebob is, Spongebob is barnacles. Hey! <laughs> the ghost of Steven Hillenberg will come to haunt you. Alright, so how would you rate these? Do you want me to go first? Yeah, I do. I would say the Glenn Levitt has a little more complexity. I would say I'm going to give the Glenn Levitt a 7. Because the price point is low you know it gives you a good space height flavor glenn f <laughs> i think it under delivers a little it is cheap yep but man for a 12 year i feel like you should get more it, it's smooth so it's not harsh so it's easy to drink but i think it could be better i'm gonna give it a five so i'm gonna give the glenn levitt an eight because of the price and it's a 12 year and it does have a lot of uh, a lot more complexity. I'm um, kind of more the, the the taste that I like is sweeter taste, floral taste, uh, more fruity taste. So I'm gonna give this an eight. Glenn Fick. <laughs> I'm gonna give this one a six. You, I think you expect more out of a 12 year, and really there just wasn't much to the taste or, or, or on the back end to it. it smelled really good, um, but that's why I'm gonna give it a six. Well, there you guys have it. This is our take on two very popular and well-renowned space side scotches if you like the content we're making please like hit the subscribe button if you disagree with our choices let us know if you agree harshly let us know can you troll us please yes. if there's some other space side whiskeys you'd like us to try please let us know and again as always get out there get run. that run and jerry fultz and jerry fultz keep those sneakers super white good night you have to sing it, though. Oh, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants! Absorbent and yellow and porous is he? SpongeBob SquarePants! Nautical nonsense. Be something, <laughs> something you, you wish. wish. SpongeBob SquarePants!